Psalm 116 verse 12 says, What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? I will say, Ori, Ogo fa odi meri, Oni, Kini emi osof mo luwa, Nito ri bo bo re re si mi. Today's service is a unique one in God's presence. It's unique in the sense that we are celebrating the choir anniversary. We are celebrating the choir anniversary. It is a service of praise. It is a service of worship. It is a service of praise. It is a service of praise. It is a service of worship. It is a service of praise. It is a service of great rejoicing in the presence of the Lord. It is a service of praise. It is a service of praise. I want to enjoy everybody this morning. We get our heart prepared to meet with the Lord. We put on our dancing shoes to dance present this morning. We pray as we celebrate this year choir anniversary. The Lord, we open the heaven upon us in Jesus' name. And there shall be great rejoicing in our homes in Jesus' name. God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Ami Oh, 
Come 
praise you. We celebrate your holy name this morning. This is another year to celebrate the choir anniversary in our church. Thank you, Almighty God, for sparing them alive. We bless your holy name that you don't allow evil things even to before them. As we have come before you to celebrate your goodness in their lives. And even in the life of every member of our church. Lord God of heaven. We want you, O oh Lord, to visit with us this morning in the name of Jesus. We bless our holy name, Father. That the Lord in your mercy, as we are blessing your holy name this morning, your blessing shall be released unto us in the name of Jesus. Abba, Father. We cry unto you this morning. As we are pointing our heart of gratitude unto you, and the benefits we have received from you thus far, for the benefit the choir members have received from you thus far, for the benefit that the church member has received from you thus far, we have received the benefit of salvation. We have received the benefit of compassion. They have received the benefit of breakthrough. We have received the benefit of your favor. We have received the benefit of your deliverance in our lives. Even the benefit of your healing in our lives. Lord Jesus. Jesus, be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, oh God, that Lord, you roll away everybody from our midst this morning. That you help every one of us to see the reason why we should celebrate your holy name. Why we should die in your presence this morning. Why we should power our of gratitude unto you this morning. Lord, I pray you do so for us this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, give us the garment of praise this morning. Let everybody that will participate in today's service receive this garment in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Almighty God, as the choir will be leading to their ministration. You will use them to bless us in the name of the Lord. You will use them to bring down the glory. Glory of the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hello, Christ. Lord, you move, go, you so and at the end of today's service, Father, we know that there shall be great testimony in the name of Jesus. There will be miracles in our midst in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father, Lord Jesus. Ride right on with us after coming to be with you this morning. And may you be praised forevermore. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Notwithstanding everything that is going on around us, the faithfulness of God 
is show. We'll sing from Baptist hymnal number 47. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. For this service shall be taken from the book of Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. I read, Even though the fig trees 
have no blossom, and there are no grapes on the vine, even though the olive crop fall, fails, and the field lie empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the field, and the cattle barns are empty, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The suffering Lord is my strength. He will make me as sure-footed as a deer and bring me safely over the mountain. May the Lord bless the reading of his word for the development of our souls in Jesus' name. Shalom, 
praise him, praise him, sing praise unto our God. Praise him, praise him, all house of Israel, praise the Lord. Praise him, praise him, sing praise unto our God. Praise Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise him, praise him, all hours of Israel, praise the Lord, praise him. Sing praise unto our God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. Oh, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, Zion. Praise the Lord. Oh,
the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for your lives. Most especially for preserving us to witness 2020 choir anniversary. My prayer for you is that the Lord Almighty will continue to bless you. So that in the land of the living you will witness more. This service is unique. And I want you to open your hearts. And allow the Lord to minister to your situation. The Lord will be speaking to us on the topic. Rejoicing in the Lord. Let us pray together. Our God and our Father, we confess that you alone has the word of life. As your word shall be declared from this pulpit, cause your Power to back it. Empower it to minister life and salvation unto your people. Through the power of your word, grant your people hope and renew their strength so that they can move on in your power. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Prophet Abakok served at a difficult time in the history of Israel. The peculiarity of his day prompted him to raise several questions before God. He was troubled as to why a just God we allow the wicked to swallow up those who are more righteous. Okanre daru de bi pe eyese ti Olorun ododo yo fi le igbe awon ti won je Olooto mi ninu ori ile na. The pains and prostration of prophet Abakok were well captured in Abakok chapter 1 verses 2 through 4. Inira ati daru da po kan Abakuku akoko sile kedere ninu iwe Abakuku ori kini ese kejo iketa. Abakok chapter 1 Abakuku rikini beginning from verse 2 Bere lati ese ikeji capture the pains and the frustration of the prophets Olo so aso ke ni si so ni kedere awon inira Abakuku listen to his complaints Eje ki atati si arawi yanu re How long O Lord must I call for help but you do not listen. Foulence is everywhere. I cry, but you do not come to save. Must I forever see these evil deeds? Why must I watch all this mystery? Wherever I look, I see destruction and violence. I am surrendered by people who love to argue and fight. The law has become paralyzed. And there is no justice in the courts. The wicked far outnumber the righteous. So that justice has become perfected. 
this was the pains and the frustration of the prophets. And if you look at the complaint of the prophet very well, you will agree with me that he fit in into our situation in Nigeria of today. But by the time the mind of God was revealed to the prophets, he learned that the only ingredients needed by the righteous to survive the assault associated with every age is strong and unyielding faiths. Strong and unyielding faiths. That is the major ingredients. If we are going to survive the assault associated with every age. The aim through the love of God our Savior all will be well. Is reflective of the message of the book of Habakkuk. The author of that aim writes Though we pass through tribulation all will be well. We expect a bright tomorrow. All will be well. Faith can sink through days of sorrow. All, all is well. This is the language of the one who has faith. And what you are going through as a person notwithstanding your economy status notwithstanding what is happening with your marriage notwithstanding the status of your earth notwithstanding if you're going to be a man of faith if you're going to be a woman of faith in spite of all of this experiences you can rejoice in the Lord. So in the message of Abakak, especially in verses 17 and 18, we see the rejoicing faith. The rejoicing faith. And that is God's expectation from you. Listen to the word of God. Abakok chapter 2. Beginning from verse 17. The Bible says. Sorry. Abakok chapter 3. Abakok Beginning from verse 17. This is what the Bible says. Even though the fig trees have no blossoms, and there are no grapes on the fines, even though the olive crop fails, and the fields lie empty and barren, be a one who could go by moon jawa. Even though the flocks die in the fields, be a one who will not go to the corner no ego. And the cattle barns are empty. A one who will not go to the Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. See be a me o ma yo ni no liwa. What we have here is. The rejoicing faith. The picture painted by Prophet Abakok is that of a complete economic resection. 
awo na ti wo li abakuku gbe kale o ni eto oro age eyi to je ko ti denu kole patapata it will interest you to know that yo wo lori lati mo wi pe in the days of prophet abakok ni igba ti abakuku their major business was agriculture he said you want say ni pataki o ni se agbe with fresh focus on animal and crop husbandry pelu afoju sun ni pataki lori isin eran so we can see how the prophet painted a terrible picture. Ale ribi wo li se gbe agbe se agbe kale awona to le pata pata. It was the picture of the fig tree that did not blossom. Oje awona ngi opoto ti ko tana. It was the picture of the vines without grapes. Oje ogba jara ti o ni eso. It was the picture of a failed olive crop. Oje awona ngi olive to ti kuna. It was the picture of the feed that was empty and barren. Oje awona oko eyi to ja pe o o ja sofo to si je se to ja pe agani. It was a situation whereby the flock died in the feet. And the cattle burns are empty. This was a total lockdown. It was a total shutdown. In fact, their economy has moved from recession into depression. But the response of the prophet was amazing. The prophet said, In spite of the terrible nature of what was happening around him, He said, Yes! I will rejoice in the Lord. I want you to use the power of imagination and imagine a farmer whose only business is to plant crops. And he planted 10,000 yam seedlings. He planted 10,000 thousand suckers of plantain and bananas. He planted maize and all of them failed. The young seedling failed. The maize failed. The plantain failed. The banana failed. It is a terrible situation. In real life situation, when such a thing happened to a farmer, such a farmer will land in the hospital. And some of them will never recover. Some of them immediately they will slip into strokes. That is the picture painted by Abacok. But surprisingly, Abacok said, Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. Even though the flocks died in the feed. Even though the cattle burns are empty. Even though the fig trees have no blossoms. You see, when the fig do not blossom, there is no hope of fruits. So the prophet said, let's say everything failed. Yet, I I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. And I want you to take notice of something. The prophet said, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The prophet has had relationship with God. He has had an experience of spiritual rebirth. 
It has a testimony of salvation experience. So it was able to see beyond the natural. He was not being moved by the things he could see. A man of faith will see beyond the natural. And that is why the Bible says we are not moving by sight. But we are being moved by faith. Several people today because of what is happening around us because of the effect of COVID-19 because of the mismanagement of the economy of our nation because some people have lost their job they have lost their investment because of that many people are sick many people are in the sarcastic home some people have died because of the experience. But the joy of the Lord is not based on circumstances. It is not based on things we see. It is based on the relationship with God. And as we celebrate 2020 choir in the first week, I want you also to ask for the faith of Abba Faith that is vigorous. Faith that is strong. The faith that can sink in the midst of trouble. The faith that can sink in spite of failure. Paraventure things are not working well with you. It is a matter of now. If you will be a man of faith, and you'll be a woman of faith. God will take you through. He will fetch your breakthrough. He will put song in your mouth. He will put joy in your heart. The joy of God in the heart of his children. Nobody can take it away. So strength, strong faith is needed to survive the assault of the present age. And that faith is a function of intimate relationship with God. Do you have faith with God? Do you have faith in God? Have you received Jesus? Are you servicing your relationship? Do you feed your spirit with the word of God on daily basis? The Bible says, faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. One of the ways you can grow in faith is to be devoted to the study of the word of God. You keep meditating on the word of God. When you take yourself off the word of God. You are not helping yourself. You are not doing yourself any good. Like Abacok. You should be able to say. Even though my business is not moving on. Even though my finances is down. Even though my bank account spares zero. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. His hand will preserve you. His hand will sustain you. And his hand will keep you great. In the name of Jesus. Stand to your feet. Pour your heart in praise. Pour your heart in worship. The kind of praise and worship you are to give the Lord. Is the one that is based based on relationship. is the one that goes beyond physical things. Tell God how grateful you are. Worship him. My father will celebrate you.
we magnify you, we celebrate you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for our living faith. The faith that can sink in trouble. The faith that can sink in the midst of crisis. Lord, you are great. You are great. You are great. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Glory to Jesus, like Badura. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. I want you to confess you are God from beginning to the end. You are God all by yourself. And today I place faith in you for my life. I want you to confess that. As you confess that, go ahead and rededicate your life to God. God is able and is abundantly able. Rededicate your life and pledge God your allegiance and your commitment anew. Tell God you will be committed to the study of His word. Tell God how desirous you are to grow in faith. The righteous will survive the assault of this age by faith. Pray that the Lord will bless you with such a faith. The faith that is strong enough to survive the assault of this age. People are falling by the roadside. Several people are looking back. The Bible says, whoever lays hand upon the plow and look back. He is not fit. Pray for grace and faith that will make you fit. In Jesus name we have prayed. The faith of Abacuc was a rejoicing faith. Ask the Lord to bless you with a rejoicing faith. That when things are going on fine and when things are not going on fine you will keep rejoicing. Pray that prayer. I rejoice in faith. Father, I receive a rejoicing faith tonight. Faith that will rejoice in spite of life challenges. Faith that will be steadfast, immovable. Lord, I receive it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Finally, I want you to pray. My God and my Father, pass through the length and the breadth of my life. The victory in my life cause it to board. The fine in my life cause it to bring forth fruits. Lord, the land upon which I work must not be barren. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray that the Lord will make you fruitful. You will blossom. You will flourish. Rebook the spirit of barrenness in all forms. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are prayed. Today, I come into your life in the name of the Lord. I speak to every physical and natural resource that is negative. Every unpleasant situation in your life. I command it to receive the touch of God. 
And I pray that the healing power of God will flow through your life. The land upon which you work will no longer bring you sorrow. But joy in the name of Jesus. The cause which works barrenness. The cause which works emptiness is broken upon your life. I rejoice in faith. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Spirit, source, and body I commit into the hand of the Holy Spirit. He will continue to work upon you. Work out the program of God in your life. That in spite of all experiences in life, your faith will be a rejoicing faith. Thank you, my Father. To you alone be all glory. All honor and all adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Sing 
We want to thank you for the success of 2020 choir anniversary. We are thankful for the choir ministry of this church. We thank you for the junior choir. We thank you for the regular choir. We thank you for the leadership of the choir. We return the glory to you. We ask, O God, that your eyes will rest upon them to watch over them and to preserve them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray if we will not touch them, we pray they will be divinely preserved in the name of Jesus. I receive for this assembly strong faith, steadfast faith, vigorous faith to survive the assault of this age that we will not grow weak, we will not look back, we will not cast away our confidence. Lord, we pray you will grant unto us such a faith. And as we go in the week, as we go in the month, and as we go in the years ahead of us, we ask that you will go ahead of us. You will go with us. You will grant us peace. You will grant us favor. You will grant us major breakthrough. And remarkable achievement will be our portion. We pray, Lord, you will mark us with the blood of Jesus. That evil and deadly pestilence will not touch us. We thank you because you have answered our prayer. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The love of God the Father Amen. and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Amen. be with every one of us. Amen. Fill us with the joy of God Amen. and cause us to have a singing faith, Amen. a rejoicing faith, Amen. and a victorious faith Amen. even now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.